Yeah, Tala Falava, it's uh, Tim Tafunga here. It's, um, it's the 9th of January 2014, and it's my first YouTube uh, blog for this year. And uh, it's uh, what I'm about to talk about is something that is personal. And that's regarding an intergovernmental uh, reconciliation dispute. And this is with regards to a, a time I had spent in New Zealand um, being a student studying for a university degree. I um, I was living in Australia in 1993. I had returned to Australia from New Zealand, and I had undertaken a student loan uh, to pay for my tuitions within New Zealand. I was basically self-reliant and I had to undertake a student loan scheme in order to survive in New Zealand and um, I think I couldn't remember how much I had uh, borrowed to pay for my uh, tuition fees as well as my living expenses now, that was all inclusive because that also included living in New Zealand as well because I was denied um, a uh, bursary or a uh, student youth allowance from the government at that time so I had to survive uh, because I wasn't a permanent resident in New Zealand being a, an Australian uh, well, I was a New Zealand citizen, but I had returned, had tried to repatriate back to New Zealand in 1990, and so I took out a student loan. But I came from from uh, Brisbane via Samoa, where I had uh, studied for an undergraduate qualification in Samoa at the National University of Samoa, and then I returned to New Zealand. Uh, taking my qualifications uh, through a ad unum um, qualifications into, uh, into the uh, Victoria University. I had done my undergraduate studies consequently and I had undertaken a student loan with the government of New Zealand via the Bank of New Zealand. Now being fully self-funded in that context, I had only taken a, a small amount. I was working part-time in New Zealand under the, as a student. I used to do odd jobs, vocational work, uh, fruit picking, waiting tables and working in nightclubs as a security officer. And so I uh, survived by whatever means possible in order to to survive in New Zealand as a student, as a pauper student. I came to Australia and uh, I forgot to notify the New Zealand government that I had um, left the country and, and quit university and I uh, continued my studies at the University of Queensland. Unbeknown to me, I had neglected to notify the New Zealand Taxation Office of my uh, arrival in Australia. So, um, about 20 years later, I notified the New Zealand government that I was living in Australia. Then they sent me the bill saying that I owed them uh, about 200% of the principal. 
or thereabouts, because I think it was only about $3,000 or thereabouts was my student loan. Now it's over $15,000. And I mean, it's small, it's not a house loan, it's not a mortgage, but I, um, it grieved me to have to do the Edward Snowden uh, full disclosure of everything about my my life in terms of um, how much I was earning. Now all I would suggest is something that is quite simple. In accordance to the New Zealand government, if you're earning $367 New Zealand dollars then per week, then you must repay something towards your student loan. That was simple. What I had objected to was the New Zealand government asking me to give my personal bank statements, my pay slips, my mortgage, my rent payments or whatever payments I had, including asking how much I was, uh, how many bad debts I had, um, how much money I spent on entertainment, insurance, interest rates, motor vehicle, how many vehicles I owned, uh, how much I'm paying for it, uh, as well as um, the value of uh, my credit cards, how many credit cards I owned, including store cards, uh, interest and dividends, overseas income, payments from income protection insurance, and so much, you know, intimate details of my complete um, value in terms of how much I own in Australia and um, whatever I owned and what solid assets I have. And um, the New Zealand government has threatened me that they're going to take uh, further debt recovery actions which include recalling the remaining unassessed loan balance and commencing legal proceedings against you in Australia which may include bankruptcy. So New Zealand is going to pursue me relentlessly because I refuse to fill in their IR590 form because I said to them why bother to ask every single detail of my total collateral value assets and so forth and my value when all you need to do is ask the Australian Taxation Office I can provide you of my total income fully assessed by the Taxation Office and in so doing you can find out whether I've been rorting the New Zealand government. Apparently um, According to the New Zealand government, if you are caught under the um, uh, what do you call it? the an infringement of um, not not repaying your student loan or falsifying or evading the repayment schedule, you may be liable to to a criminal record and an imprisonment of up to five years. Now that is the ultimate uh, punishment. So they've criminalised students who have uh, travelled abroad and have not repaid their student loans. Now as an expatriate New Zealander, of which I think there's something like 60,000 of us here in Australia, whom have skipped the ditch because obviously because we are economic migrants and as such New Zealand did not employ us and regard us of any value so we left the country and they're telling us to repay them. That in itself criminalises students and unemployed people who, who were considered as unwanted in New Zealand. I found that uh, disconcertingly annoying and what was even more insulting when they would ask every single nitty gritty income source that I have which I think is very, very rude and insulting. Now, all you needed to ask whether I was earning $367 per week, and I would have told you no. Now, if you want to insult my intelligence, 
well, that's it. That's all. You, that's all you needed to know. You didn't have to say whatever I owned or whatever. Now, unfortunately, New Zealand charges me five hundred dollars interest rates every five months, six months, and if I don't provide them of uh, if I don't fill in an IR590 every time, which I refuse to do so because I think it's in a complete um, overburdening of uh, the bureaucratic demands from the New Zealand government, which I find very, very annoying. Now, if they're going to send over inland revenue officers to arrest me and charge me for tax evasion or, or tax avoidance, then you're more than welcome to come here because I think you're annoying. Uh, and, and I'm very annoyed with the New Zealand government. And uh, unfortunately, um, that's it. And people are sick. Okay. Fuck, they love it.